Many of you looked into the sky and saw these coming up right here. A lot of darkness, but there was lights up there 16 years ago. And today they're still, there they are. Lots of questions about what were these things and where did these come from? Well, new tonight at 10, CBS 5's Greg Argos talked with one woman who has spent years investigating this mystery. And Greg, there is some new information tonight that she's uncovered. That's exactly right. They're seeing Dr. Lynn Kitai says she recently uncovered this military document right here that shows all Air Force planes were grounded on March 13, 1997. So she says the question remains, what was in the air over Phoenix some 16 years ago? A triangular shaped object. March 13, 1997. Thousands of people saw more than stars in the night sky. Got that one on video. Reports started piling in from all across the valley about something strange in the sky. Major sighting here. Most people saw a mile to two mile wide, either formation of lights in a V formation, gliding rooftop level. And some people actually saw a craft. Others saw these orbs, these balls of light, detach from the main object, go out into the environment. There's one behind the chimney. One of those people is Dr. Lynn Kitai, who has been researching the Phoenix light phenomenon for years. It is amazing to me that it's 16 years tomorrow since the most historic and still unexplained mass UFO sighting in modern history took place right here in Arizona. Kitai says officials at Luke Air Force Base initially said the lights had nothing to do with any military planes or aircraft, but that story soon changed. And about a month later, the flare theory emerged. A military exercise, flares in the sky. But Kitai says she recently received these Air Force documents dated May 1st, 1997, which state Luke Air Force Base was not involved in any way with the lights over Phoenix. I have been searching for a logical explanation meticulously for the last 16 years. No, there's five. And so Dr. Kitai's quest to figure out what exactly was overhead. No, those are in the sky. Appears to be far from over. I don't know what these things are, but I know that they are. And it's time we get this topic out in the open and address it, accept it, and study it. Of course, many questions still remain for the thousands that saw the lights with their very own eyes. Dr. Kitai is screening her documentary at an event this weekend, and we've posted all of that information on our website, cbs5az.com.